Oh yeah, just a quick announcement. Guess whose birthday is on Monday? Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Honey's. Uh, no, mine's way in July. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> now I'm joking. It's me. <clears throat> Well, well then. I never would have guessed. <laughs> Your boy is going to be 28. Damn. Wow. He's one step closer to 30, and I hate it. Oh, jeez. 31 this year, so at least there's that. I guess. I guess you have to enjoy your late 20s all the way to last. Pretty much. I mean, it's pretty much for any young decade, really. Yeah. I guess. The day I turn 30, I'm gonna tell you all, wait until you guys turn 32. <laughs> <laughs> once, once Sam turns 30, he's gonna, he's gonna talk to us and be like, back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the One Shady Family Podcast. I'm your host, this week's Nerd Herder. We got a lot. We we got two things to gush about this week, but first, before we get to those, let's briefly touch on Sword and Shield. As this is another new shiny raid event for the first time in like what two months or so, and this one's featuring the shiny Shalda running, of course, till the usual time, seven p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Sunday. So, but of course, by the time this episode goes up, you only have like seven hours to get that shiny Shalda. Okay, so then after that. It's Pokemon Home, as the 2.0 update went live earlier this week, much sooner than I think any of us were expecting. Talk about finally, am I right? I know, it's, it's only Ooh. been six months since BDSP. Yeah. <laughs> Better late than never, they say, right? Yeah, true. It's good to finally have it, though. So yep, now even though I don't I have agree. the game anymore, but whatever. <laughs> you can always get a new one. But, but that costs money. Yeah. About that. Yeah, about <laughs> that. Who wants to get money and money? Well, um, I am starting my job soon, so that's gonna help. Oh, nice. Good luck. Yeah, on that. Thank you. All right. No problem. But at least it's something can actually let me complete my Pokédex <laughs> much quicker. So that's hype. Um, and that's yeah. about it. So let's move on. Because the first episode of the web anime series, Hisui and Snow, came out earlier this week. Um, these are going to be short episodes, once again, which I'm personally not a fan of. But I mean, what we got is... Oh my god, it's stunning. Like, I love the animation of, of, of this new series. It looks awesome. And also, Alec and Hizarwa are beyond precious, and I love them. Yeah, I need to go see it. Go watch it. It's go it. watch it. It's great. Oh yeah, I heard all good things about it. Yeah. Oh, and also, um, Alec has the his sword and Zorwa that he's gonna have is shiny. Oh yeah, I did see. I did see some pictures of that. I thought that was pretty cool. That is. No. I, I was not expecting that. And I have a shiny Zoro in Legends Arcus myself. Look at you flexing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm definitely I don't think, not jelly at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever evolve it because I know what a uh, shiny Zoro looks like, and I just like shiny Zoro better. So I don't think I'll ever evolve it. That's fair. I mean, if you yeah, ever got, if you ever like got a second, what would you evolve it? That one, I'm with you on that one, one hundred percent. It is honor. way, way too precious. Yeah, heavily agree. Yeah, definitely. And Zarwa is just absolutely adorable in this first episode of Hisui and Snow. I cannot wait for more. I'm not, I'm not sure when the second episode is coming out. Actually, I don't know if Pokemon stated the. A schedule for upcoming episodes because all we got was a release date for the first episode and nothing else yet. So it yeah, seems I'm like, not sure. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had to wait like a few more weeks or maybe even a month for it. I hope it's not that long, but I mean, considering how off I was with for the home update last week, anything can happen. Yep, anything can happen. Yeah. 
Because I remember last week I was saying that we could probably get BDSP and Legends compatibility with Home in like the next two weeks or so. But nah, we got it in like middle of the week. I mean, that's sooner, so that's. I would, I'll definitely take it. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we didn't have to wait multiple any few more weeks for it. Yeah, because this has been a long time coming. Yeah. I imagine that Pokemon also wanted to fix some of the bugs and glitches in BDSP and Legends, like I said last week. Because as much as we like BDSP, they were broken when they first came out. So, yeah. They were very glitchy. I still remember the glitch that happened. Well, it didn't happen to me personally, but I've heard like, so many people talking about it. And there was this glitch at when you fight Cynthia, you can just go past her. Oh and yeah! Completely skip Cynthia's <laughs> battle, and you end up well, and you end up becoming champion anyway. Yeah, like, yeah I, I, yeah, I, I saw it. I saw some speedrun videos of video speed when they first came out, and it was possible yeah. to, get a, to get a run done in like fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, that was so funny. That was like the funniest glitch in the entire game. That was very hilarious. It was very funny, actually. Like, I'm not gonna fight you, I'm just gonna go past you. I don't need to fight you. <laughs> yeah, I don't really feel like it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, regardless, um, getting back to the ceiling and snow, great animation, great music, just everything about it is, is great so far. I just wish the episodes were longer. Like, I need more than just seven minutes of content. <laughs> Yeah, I, I haven't seen it, but I can agree, still. Yeah, yeah I haven't seen it either. Yeah, they, they set up the plot scene pretty nicely so far. But I guess we'll have to wait for more, I guess. Because we don't know when the second episode's coming out. I hope it's soon. Because I don't want to wait forever to get it. Because then that... Speaking, speaking, you know what else we need a second episode for? What? That... That little short. Do you remember that short with Ash yeah. and Selby? Oh yes. Yes, oh, we yeah. need a second episode. It's been forever. I know. And I need answers. I know. I mean, they did continue it, right? Because like, they showed the out at the end, and then that was last one. That was like a second more animation. No, that was in the same video. Yeah, it, it was in the same video. When I saw Wait, the Alga part separately, so? then. Mm. Yeah, because it started off with Ash in a battle, and then yeah. Selby got caught in the midst of it, and then, like, they just got trippy after that, and eventually Ash and then, sure met, met up with Dialga at the end. Yeah, literally at the oh, end, he just, like... okay, that one. Okay, I was confused for a second. Yeah. Yeah, this came, that came out in, like, what? February or March? I think March. I'm not... I don't it was remember. March. Okay. Because I don't yeah, remember. Still, still need answers. Yeah. And yeah, certain it's really been, good. like, almost three months since we first learned about the announcement of Hisuian Snow. Yep. I mean, we were saying that it was going to be coming out around, like, around this time frame of this year. Around, like, the June time frame or so. So it's a little ahead of schedule, but hey, I'll take well, it. Well, I do, I do remember saying summer, so yeah. Yeah. This pretty much, this pretty much is close. Yeah, we were kind of close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely take it this soon. It's saying goes for the home update. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if we get Scarlet and Violet news soon, I will be happy. That should be next on the block, honestly. Yeah. Oh, I that, that, yeah. that seems like the next natural step. Yeah, definitely. Because June seems to be like the, the month for news. Yeah, it's looking like we're going to... I have a feeling that we might get some new Scarlet and Violet information around the beginning of June. Yeah. I'd probably say in like three weeks or so, honestly. Probably. Yeah, because I'd be surprised if they have a Pokemon Presents right on the 1st of June, which is on a Wednesday. Nah, I expect it to be probably like... Probably about the next week after that, so, so probably the 8th. Yeah. Yes. June 8th or 9th yeah. or 10th. One for, of those days. For those that want our absolute specific predictions here. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't wait until we get a hype music video, which will never be released. I know. Flashback to Sword and Shield. Yeah. 
and kind of the same for BDSP and Legends, too. Did we have a music video for BDSP? Oh, yeah, wait, I do remember, like, some... Yeah, from the August trailer. Yeah, I do remember, like, some of the theme slapping. Yeah. And that's another song that we never Although got a release weren't... for. Was it a full song or, or was it just like separate themes? Uh, no, it was completely original. Oh, okay. Uh, same, same goes for Legends as well. Uh, the song that was used in Legends August trailer was not in the game at all. Bruh, why do y'all do this? I know! <laughs> uh, uh, pain. The, a brand new world was easily the best one, though. Oh, absolutely. I 100% agree. And I hope we get something similar for Scarlet and Violet. That would be dope. Yeah, same. Just hopefully we will not have to wait too much longer for that. And then, yeah. And I hope that it that we don't have to wait till August because that would be, be brutal and it wouldn't make much sense. No, I think we're definitely we're definitely doing for some news in June. Yeah, watch them. Yeah. Watch them drop the box art and release date in the same style that they dropped, did it for BDSP and Legends at the end of May. I mean, they haven't revealed anything at this point. So I know, yeah. that's what I'm saying. But they could just drop the... Even, like I said, we don't even know like the freaking name of the region yet. Yeah. So I, I, I have a feeling all that will have to be get revealed in the Pokemon Presents because that's a ton of information they have to drop at once. Yeah. And I have a feeling that's going to come at some point uh, this, this summer. Well, it'll be in early June, like I said. Man, I feel like we're beating a dead horse here because we keep saying we're hoping for more Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> Shows how that's where we are. <laughs> All right. So, let's move on from that then because we got to talk about today's Jan episode. Holy yes. shit. Yes. That was freaking fantastic. The that moment at the end when... When Moan just remembers everything, and then Lucimi just starts crying, I started crying. Oh my god, I bawled during that I moment was, too. I wasn't even crying, like, I was sobbing, probably. Oh, oh yeah, me too. And it like, was the, so like, good. When, like, when the subs came out, I was like, well, time to cry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like when Moan remembers, and then he was like, I remember everything. Yes. And then, and, then he, and then he says, and then he says all of his family members' name, and then I broke down crying. Oh my god! Same, same. And the surprise That's that he how... had when he saw Magirna up and running too. Ah oh, yes. Yep. That's how uh... emotional this episode was. It really just felt like watching the episode of Sun and Moon. <clears throat> it honestly really did. Like I didn't even feel like it was a journey's episode at all. Nope. Even though like literally in Geller. Yeah. <laughs> but like Yeah, I am really good. Yeah, yeah, that that honestly might be my favorite episode of JN. That was just phenomenal. It was fantastic. <laughs> but that's an easy top three favorite episode of the Pokemon anime, period for me. Like it was I, yeah. I have to agree. It, it's it was so impactful in my opinion. It concluded Mon's story perfectly. I am so glad that they did this on screen. Like I am I always so wanted. grateful for that too. Me too. Like we needed this episode and we got it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my god. Ah, oh, what are we begin with this episode? Because there's just so much I want to gush about. Like, <laughs> the first time I was watching it, and it showed the scene of Nihiligo playing the piano, and it showed it wobbled like Lily with uh with the gold hex and dress I'm like wait is that an imposter? <laughs> I would I would have said that out loud. I would have said that out loud. Are you serious? I'm so dead funny. serious. <laughs> I would have said is that an imposter out loud the first time through <laughs> You dork <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the one time I wish I was recording my reaction, that would have been, been so funny. That would have been really funny. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, and I, w- I was talking about this with some peeps on Twitter before the episode aired. I'm like, I'm not ready for it to be an emotional mess after this episode. And one of them pointed out that Mon might not remember who Lily was, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, when when Lily first found Amon and he didn't remember her, I was like, what? But then the ending just made it much, much more satisfying. All the pieces started to come together yeah. as the episode went along. Yeah. yeah, I kind of figured it out as the episode was progressing through. And uh, yeah, pretty much what I guessed throughout happened in the episode, so yeah. Because like, it just felt... Like, I was watching the movie with some of the scenes in this episode, because, like, the art, some of the scenes just looked stunning. It did, especially at the end. Yeah, yeah especially like, at the end. All the, all the scenes with Lily, Gladia, and Moan, and Lusamine, they were fantastic. Oh my god, yeah. Yo, the scene when Lily holds Nehali goes hands, that was a big movie vibe right there. That yeah. absolutely was. Oh yeah, that was the scene I cried the the, the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aside from the ending, of course. It's so funny because, like, when I think about this episode, I don't think about like Ash and Go and Chloe. <laughs> like, they're there in the episode, but I don't know, they just don't do much. Like, what are the yeah, only yeah. role? Like, what are the only role that any of them did was Ash saving Lily from being attacked by Nihiligo. Yeah, I think that was just there so that Ash could probably reunite with Lily. Yeah, it was yeah. very brief, but Lily, like that- Lily and Gladion. But that was I, I I like that scene just because yeah, Ash reunited with Lily and Gladion again. Yeah. Even if it was, was so brief. Awesome. It was very yeah. brief, but But what the yeah, thing I'm, is, this episode was focused on Lily, Gladion and Lucifer, not Ash going yeah, Chloe. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. That's the reason why I was so worried going into this episode. Because um, when you when you see the trailer, it's like at first it's like oh they're gonna do this unnecessary task nobody gives a shit about. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not even kidding. If this sounded like it could be so uninteresting, but I'm so glad they didn't do that. No, it was definitely perfect. Yeah. Although I really wish that Lily could have interacted with Go and Chloe more. I mean, there's always next yeah. week to, uh, for the. There's whole... always, yeah, there. That's there too. Judging from the next week's episode, it does look like she would probably interact more with Lana. i um... But we don't know that. I really hope that she can interact with uh, Go and Chloe. Yeah, same. Yeah, same here. That's a good point, too, because uh, the preview for next week's episode, literally, really, basically booking it to hug Mallow. That was so adorable. Yeah. Yeah, there was my ship has returned. <laughs> no, oh my god, guys. What? Guys. Lily and Mallow hugging. That is so... Ha! Huh, gay? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're si- okay, Lily we're si- and Mallow are canon. I agree. New head canon of the day. Okay, but, okay, but that's but, just a fact. It's not just a head canon. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Anyway, um, what I was about to say. Oh my god, Lily jumping up and being happy now is so great considering how much she has been through. Yeah, exactly. But you my can't, poor you, you girl just... has been a poor girl has been traumatized since childhood. I know. And now fine and now she's taking one step further. Absolutely. So proud of her. We stand. You just, Absolutely. You can't help but smile along with that e- with everyone else. Like Yeah, exactly. Especially after like what they said at the end of Sun and Moon. Like it really it really is all just so satisfying. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And I love the flashbacks that they used in this episode as well. 
Absolutely. Oh. All the stands are winning again. The, you're feasting. Yes. All the yeah. we're eating good. Lily stands, we're eating good. Yeah. The lady on the Lutamina stands, Mon stands. You guys, we're eating good. <laughs> and to think we're getting more of our content next week. We keep so on feasting. Oh, I cannot so wait. So excited. We keep yeah. on ordering Uber Eats. <laughs> just <laughs> just eating. Guys, we're okay, I don't know why stuff. I said that, but that was funny. We're ordering more stuff from Kentucky Fried Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> that was fucking random as hell. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the point is, Alola stands. We're feasting good. Exactly. Yes, well, so to add, we can... Also, the fact that there's a shiny Night Amigo in this episode and no one points out the fact that it's a different color is... kind of funny, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god, guys. It's shiny Lily. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. It's great that you pointed out that it's... Yeah, it's a shiny Night Amigo. And apparently and it was Gladium, and Gladium Gladium was the one that caught, caught it. it too. Yep. yep. Even though every family member was holding the beast ball. That was great. That yeah. was yeah. That was such a touching moment. Like they're welcoming this shiny night we go into their family <clears throat> because they because it helps protect Mon. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I say, I'm really glad they did that. Like yeah. it just makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it, mm. absolutely. Also, can we talk? I was just. Can we talk about? Sorry, Kyle. You go first. <laughs> can we talk about that piano intro Lily played? Oh my god! Um, that whenever was. Whenever they played the piano music, I was emotional. Exactly. I was sobbing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, that was emotional as hell. Yeah. <sighs> I'm an emotional wreck. Yeah, same. I, I was fully I expecting this. Just, I was fully expecting this episode to just tell me apart emotionally, and it did. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I know just a gift to send into the own voice channel. Yeah, I pretty much. I couldn't agree more, Kyle. <laughs> because it's true. Who even is this guy? I don't know! <laughs> like, I've um, seen him all around, but I don't even know who he is. Yeah, emotional um, damage! Yeah, yeah, his name is um, Stephen C. He's like, uh, he's like, uh, a uh, TikToker or something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, well. Gotcha. That explains I'm, why I don't know him, because I'm... I don't use TikTok. Got yeah, it. now that I, I just know him because his TikToks just keep appearing on my YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. I don't even The only TikToks know. that pop up for me on YouTube are Dan Povermeyer's because I watch so many of his clips. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even watch TikTok. Not as you not as you why. The only ones that I watch are ones that people send to me or ones that just get reposted all over the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah, see, not sure. Also, I mean, Sam, that I, meme. Also, Sam, that I meme you sent is also accurate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one could cry harder today after that episode. <laughs> hey, hey, check out how hard I can cry. <laughs> <laughs> You're dark. <laughs> so accurate, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, yeah. I need to go back and watch the episode ASAP. First it me was too. this and then the Cluff episode that made me cry. Now what else is there? Who knows? Maybe next week. Uh, can we get a dawn focused episode where we can cry again? That'd be nice. I don't want to cry again. But I mean, I get where you're coming from, though. But, yeah. But yeah, uh, where's our, where's our AG love now, Jan? 
Yeah, the only there's not been any AD ones. Even, even the one reference to me was like a DP episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, they could have easily had Brandon be the AD love, but we, we're not even getting Brandon back for some reason. It's so weird. And the Reggies are right there. They're right there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I know, Harry. I know you've been catching that for for years. For now. years, like two years. Yeah. It's real estate. Where, where is Brandon, Jan? Where is Brandon? I know, right? Like, like he is probably the most, the most. Um, He's like the most well-known Reggie trainer. I was gonna say like. Out of all, out of all the it. characters like AG could have brought back, it would have easily been Brandon. That too. I know, right? Not yeah. only that, but we need and we need more Gala rep. Yes, we, we do. We need Gala rep. Yeah, where's my Queen yeah. Nessa? Where's my Melody? Where is where's Nessa? My... Wait, wait a minute, yeah. where is freaking Hop, man? Yeah, I hope be... so. No, but like Hop, right? You could put Hawk in either the TWC or Project New, and he would have fit both. But instead, yeah. we just don't have him up here. Exactly, and it's not a case where, where it's not a how case where he could have appeared later because I think he should have appeared way sooner, considering he is Leon's brother. For goodness sakes. I could yeah. Be with yeah. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, indeed. <laughs> Nope. I'm just gonna assume that the only time we'll see a hop, if we ever do see him, is probably during his match at the Masters 8, where he'll be like cheering for him or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or, if yeah. anything, it'll probably or be when Ash is battling Leon for the final battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Yes, yep. exactly. You're welcome. Yeah, honestly, um, I'm gonna say this. Um, Norman should have been in the Norman should have been in the PWC. I kind of agree. Norman should have. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Norman. Like, like obviously, like, like she would have to have had to be in like super, super or hyper class. I feel like I would fit, but like, but like, or I hell, would, I, or hell, Drake, like, like, Drake should have been in the PWC too. Uh, honestly, I don't really see Drake being being like, interested in being like, the strongest battler he is. Uh, he always seems m more interested in like being a ship captain. Well, yeah, that's um, fair. Yeah. I do see him yeah. like battling in like the normal class, maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. But like, the fact is, I feel like Norman is the perfect character to put, to put in the PWC. Because not only is it a G rep, not only is it uh, as uh, as he a gym leader, who we know loves battling, like but, like not only was was he any was he an AG sort of like an older version version of Ash essentially, um, but he was also like me and Matthew's dad. So like, exactly. Oh, like, <laughs> it, it, so even if you can't get a, a get a May return out of that, you you get a May reference, and you would definitely get a max return. Yeah. So like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a win win. Okay, but I don't think I don't think major Okay, but I don't think majority of the fandom cares for Max. Yeah. No, but even if they didn't care. Yeah, they should have. They should have at least had Max return. Yeah. yeah. Max and Norman. So, so, so what happened to all of that prophecy of we're going to battle again, Max, in that last episode? Oh, I mean, that would never been... Or I Ash mean, that was never going... battle him. Yeah, yeah, that was never going to happen in the show because <laughs> Max was <from> age. Exactly. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the Max and Ralt's episode all over again. <laughs> yeah. I'll come back for you, Ralt. He did not, in fact, Actually, come back for him. Actually, if they, if they do, do retire Ash after JN, just make Max an ex protagonist. Just do like a five year time set. And, and it's like, everyone, oh, would be so, everyone would be so mad. I can see that. I know. <laughs> you know I would love it. Yeah, the salt would be real. 
<laughs> this song will be so funny. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but the thing is, it's not the worst idea ever, walking. actually. No. The sugar walking as as making Bonnie the protagonist. I was I was just gonna say that actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. but both Max and Bonnie can be a protagonist. So true. They're not yeah, wrong yeah. though. They can be traveling companions. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that, that'd be. You know what? That'd be. You know what? That'd be actually more excited to be honest. Yeah, they both set off for their own journey and finally become trainers. Yeah. Was, yeah. Like, I would love to see that. That would be amazing. Same here. Heck, it yeah. doesn't even have to be a main series show. It could be like a side series for help for for all we know. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Like, like I could be, I could actually be a spinoff. Like that one series I've got in my head, head for for a traveling, uh, traveling the world with a uh, with with another girlfriend, and and he's uh, and uh, and he's and he's more mature, and it's awesome. I'm get. Uh, I'm get cool. Uh, I'm get cool. Uh, I didn't mean carriage. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Chronicles 2.0. Let us let us. Oh, bring chronic. Yeah. Okay, but bring chronicles, bring chronicles back. back. That would be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Why did they stop? I don't know. Like, I, I, I mean, actually, I mean, actually, here's why we haven't gotten gotten more chronicles because the only reason that they made chronicles was. Was essentially as the old studios, yeah, because yeah, Chronicles was essentially the old um animation studio saying goodbye, uh, uh, uh when they were uh, moving over, so uh, or when, uh, when when four kids yeah, was leaving. What? No, the like, I was thinking it was the boy I don't know because oh. because because Chronicles uh every every Japanese thing too like. I think they like yeah. changed, like yeah, yeah. That was it. Like, like I, th- I think AG is done by like a different animation studio than like than um OS and stuff. And I, I like I, I, I can see that because the animation goes goes from like hand drawn to like self shaded, right? Um, yeah. So like I think that was sort like the original studio was uh, saying goodbye, like uh, uh, Pokemon or something, and that was like. The Chronicles was was essentially like the uh, last thing they made. I think that was it. I'm not entirely sure, but I I I, I, I heard I heard something like that. Um, oh, okay. I mean that does make sense, but but still, yeah. we need, we definitely need more. Yeah, no, we need more Chronicles, and we need episodes about uh, uh, about Brock and Krugunk. We we need episodes <laughs> about everyone. <clears throat> yes, but mainly Krugunk. Of course. <laughs> of course. Yo, yo, yo. I said this billion times, but let's not only make Max and Bonnie uh, main companion. Oh, I can't speak today. Main characters. Let's also make Regina join. Hey, yeah, I would like that. I still need to watch that episode. Go watch it, honey. God damn it. <laughs> How about we write that in your forehead too, honey? Oh, so the joke is on me now. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to my hell. <laughs> Don't worry, though, turn. honey. Don't worry, honey. It's only one compared to like two thousands of Kyles riding in the Oh, forehead. fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case anyway. Um, God damn it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Chronicles two point oh. That would be a, that would be dope. Bring hashtag yeah. hashtag bring Chronicles back. Yeah. Writing that down. Oh boy. I didn't mean the dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, that backfired. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, what? No, I didn't mean the dollars. <laughs> what, are you doing? what are you doing? Oh my god, this is not going. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You what can, edit, the hell you can that? edit all of that out, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Uh, that What's was going funny. On? 
everything and anything. Uh, well, that was a big honey moment right there. <laughs> that was a honey moment. <laughs> yep. How do I even function? I don't know. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It We're all happens. just existing. <clears throat> yep. I'm just existing. <laughs> Okay. Well, I didn't realize how much of a tangent we just made after talking about the East Jane episode. Oh, yeah. But it was so good, though. I know. It, it was. Like, that's seriously a contender for... Like, it, it's most likely my favorite episode of Jan, but probably my favorite episode of the whole anime, honestly. Honestly, um... Like, I, I, think I, I, this, I, I think... I think this might just... Take place is my favorite episode over the Kalefa episode. For Jan? Yeah. That's totally fair. Like, I'm honestly with you on that. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of the same here. Like, for me, it's this one, the Iris Return episode, and the Regina episode. Those are all great. And, so, and the, um, uh, F, what was it called again? <clears throat> yeah, the standalone Go episode I thought was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Like, those four are top tier Journeys episodes. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. And one of them doesn't even feel like a Journeys episode. That's crazy. Exactly. So, yeah. Again, to think for game more of all the content next week. I'm so excited. Oh yeah. Same here. Me too. I can't wait to see Daddy Kukui again. <laughs> <laughs> Master Royale, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, you did not just say that. <laughs> I know, she said it before Harry's price. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was uh, excited to say it on voice chat. Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be surprised. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, you're such a dark. <laughs> and also simp. I am never saying that again, at least in voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're um, all just we're all just weirdos just vibing around. <laughs> yep. Also speaking of Kukui, um, <clears throat> uh, there was a screenshot that I sent in uh, non voice channel before I uh, hopped on voice chat about like an hour ago. Um, let me just go grab it and send it to non voice channel. Um, here we go. Ba -da -bing, ba -da -bing. This screenshot. Oh, that is so that's so awesome. I uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I love that. Um, but like, yeah, uh, all of that was in the ad, which aren't in the sub. So, uh, man, uh, man, why couldn't we see this in the preview? This is like, this is like family right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The true family. Yes. Yeah, or a bunch of um, <laughs> Yeah, let me just uh, send a moment. Yeah, look at this. Where, where are you sending um, it? And no voice. Okay. Yeah, look at, look at this. Look, I, love, look, look, I love, look, love these frames. Yeah, look at this. Like, this is definitely like, like the bit where uh, where, uh, where, 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 like, hey, let's battle. But at the same time, look at look at those expressions. Yeah, exactly. That, that is just a dad talking to his son, like. Uh, exactly. Yep. yep. Exactly. Yep. I mean, Kuku is pretty much his dad. Yeah. No, no he is his dad. Yeah, really. Yeah. Like Ash doesn't even need a real father when he already has a great father right here. Yep. Exactly. So true. Just so much of all I'm. Uh, I can, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically how I feel about all this level of content. <laughs> and also, uh, today's episode 
she also crowns Hunter for the first time in the show, so interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, like, I don't know, I don't know if any of you remember this, but I do remember, like, maybe a year back, I I theorized that maybe Lily and Glenn could come searching for their father at Crown Tundra, and what do you know, it happened. I, oh, think, yeah. I think I recall you saying that. Yeah, yeah. Sure are. I, I, don't yeah. I don't remember where and when that happened, though. Me neither. I know I said it, though, somewhere, it in must, some form. I have a feeling it might have been in an earlier episode of the podcast, but I don't remember. Yeah, yeah I think it was. I, I'm not yeah. gonna go bother and go back to search for it. Yeah. That would just take forever. Yeah. But that that's crazy. I know. I, just think yeah. we're gonna I, see- I, got, I can't believe I got that right. Yeah, look at you, look at you predicting the future. Yeah, um, I I think that was when the first uh, uh, Solar Moon episode came out, because we had that, um, not flashback, but um, scene, the, 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 but that scene where they, where they were uh, reading out a letter. And it was oh like, yeah, I think and it was from I, I, Yeah, and, and it was like... And they went and 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 you saw um uh like the and like the windows of of the train that they were in like some snowy area. Oh yes, yes, yes. That is exactly why I thought that. Oh, yeah. that would make sense then. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Okay, now it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Also, I gotta touch on some of the some of the other flashbacks and. This episode, like this frame in particular of the oh family. Oh my man. god! Yep. That was. The, uh, yeah. That, I, I'm fairly uh, certain. Like, I, I'm fairly certain of all these were like flashbacks from uh, from uh, from Sun and Moon, but like we done and uh, and the journey so. I think I think were. most of these were probably just reused because I recognized the sentiment style, especially in the Mother Beast scenes. They were. Yeah, no, they were. They yeah, didn't look like they yeah. were redrawn at all. No, no. I'm saying that, like, no. I think um, that one, the the, the mother be seen for Deathless Sermon, but like the ones, like the flashback to Moon and stuff. Like, I, I'm, I, I, like, I'm pretty sure that that some of them are like redrawn shorts from, uh, from from Sun and Moon. Yeah, I think they are redrawn. I think they are redrawn as well. Yeah, like, like the the ones that are in, in motion are are just to be used, but but the ones where it's just like still shots, like and like flashbacks to to like moan when they were kids. I think that's definitely flashbacks that we did see in Turn Moon, but were also redrawn. Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Yeah, especially since uh. But some of them, like, uh, the screenshot that I just sent, that looks completely brand new, because I don't recall seeing that in Sun and Moon at all. No, I think that one knew, but I, I do think that there were some that were from Sun and Moon. I don't know. Yeah, because... like some I, were from Sun and Moon, and some just seemed original to me. Some definitely yeah. were fr- Some were definitely from Sun and Moon. Like, yeah. Like, uh, when Lily was being taken by Nihiliga when she was younger... Uh, yeah, that was definitely from the same moon. Yeah, and um, was being being consumed by the mother beast. But yeah, like uh, the screenshot that I sent looks like it's a completely new one made specifically for this episode. God, I don't remember the rest because I've only seen the episode once, so I don't remember every single detail. And I also, lo- and I also love this screenshot as well. When everyone caught, uh, that- when everyone caught, here we oh go. Oh my gosh, the edge lord Glenn oh, yeah, is so then, happy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seeing like happy Gladion is really cursed at the same time. Really wholesome. <laughs> I, I like, I like really, I like happy Gladion. I don't know why, but it fits so well. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. It's just so, so wholesome. Yeah, and like the way everyone was holding that beast ball was just, oh my god, it, everything about this episode was just perfect. <laughs> I don't know why, but in that in that picture itself, Ash Go and Chloe look so out of place there. 
<laughs> like, like it's just like yeah. the family is reunited, and then and then there's just Ash Glow and Chloe just standing there, like yeah. yeah. Yep. What yep. are we supposed this to do happening. now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but n- nothing. Yep. Kadaima. Ah. <sighs> yeah, that shot with Lily holding yeah. her hand, those hands brings that me shot tears of joy. All right. Oh my yeah. God. Also, um, the the shot when or the the, the animation and uh, and and the shot when um when when um uh, Pikachu is uh, so really like the animation like of the like, of Iron Tail and the camera following following Pikachu as it used to move was so fluid and cool. I know really that was so dope. Yeah. Yep, that was really cool. Like everything about this episode just knocks it out of the park. It was just insane. I hope we get yeah. these kind of um, shots and animations for the Masters Day battles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, no. yeah, like yeah. weirdly enough, that seemed a bit like XY's 3D camera, but done in a style that works with the journeys. And yeah, some, was... and some, some, some yeah. animation. Like, we should yeah. get that more often in hyperclass battles. Yeah, we should. The, we should. Oh no, hyperclass. The thing is, yeah. The thing is, that shot didn't even look like three D to me. Just no. So yeah, it like, looks so. Yeah. It was just so fluid. Yeah. Yeah. It's episodes yeah, but- like this that make me really appreciate the journeys and Sun and Moon's art style, really. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, and it's just it was really weird how this one shot is better than like most of the animation in actual. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! The shade! Oh my wow. god! Wow! I have to agree on that, Laurie. I mean, some Be- some have because- been really great. I think. Yeah, but like, in my yeah, opinion, but, but yeah, I yeah, can't. Yeah, but the free the, the there has aged like fine milk, to be honest. I mean, Wait, did I say like... fine milk? I meant bad milk. Bruh. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially the same thing, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I remember how they tried to incorporate how they tried to incorporate that really shitty. Uh, 3D focus blast for, uh, and Farfetch uh, versus Girder. No, I don't remember that. I don't recall at all. Oh. I um, think I know what you're talking about, Lori. And let me just. Uh, it's been I, so long since I watched that episode. Yeah, let me just try and see. Um, That's the one at Rinto, right? I don't yeah. remember. Wait, who the heck is Rinto? The exactly. Team, uh, the- been here to be guide. Yeah. That, that that we all the guy that we all thought was going to be Ash's main rival and Jan and ended up just getting forgotten about. I never thought he was going to be Ash's rival. I, I was convinced. No, I, 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 I was I was personally oh, convinced. I haven't seen that episode. I just thought like he was just this plot device just to develop Farfetch'd really, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. I always thought he was just that too, and that's exactly yeah. what it was. I keep there emphasizing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. I remember this one now. Yeah. This looks like a giant no. fire. Or a. It looks like. Or a redesign or a sphere for, for freak's sake. It looks. Wait, so this is focus. Wait, this is focus blast. Yeah, that's supposed to be focus yeah. blast. Why does it look like shit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The rest of that battle look, looks pretty good. I don't know why that one focus blast looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> focus blast. Come on, now. I like it. <clears throat> I don't get it. Oh, okay, just give me a second. This is what a focus blast should look like, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Look at the Definitely. impact the way that Focus Blast just it's hits. It's super on. effective. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. But I no, they tried. They look tried look to look make it. it. They tried to make it more three D and like an orangey, like reddish orange yeah. because fighting that type. Did not, that did not. Fans, I hate it. 
honestly, um, I've always preferred the um, the um, orangey color for focus glass, but if it did look like, more like the black and white one, but orange, I, like I would probably like, like it a lot. It's just um, like I've always liked um, focus glass being being the orange just to differentiate it um, from orange here. Okay, that's fair though. Um, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, perfectly um, fair. But like, but like this black and white one is like almost perfect, and it would be if it was just like orange to me. But yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fair too. Perfectly mm. valid. But anyway, getting back on track here, I also want to briefly mention the shot of Magina holding Shiran. Precious. Aww. Yeah. Like, Magina in the in the in the when I showed got a lot more personality than in Sun and Moon. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, you're right. Like, yeah. I, like it wasn't much, but like Magina was like ditzy and clumsy, and also hug more at the end. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Really yep. Um, yeah. I also want to briefly touch on uh, when the show, when the episode was about uh, break for commercials, instead of uh, using like who's that Pokemon or or an eye catcher, they just show the show's logo. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I didn't even know yeah. that. Yeah, I, I that. noticed that there wasn't an eye catcher, and instead they just showed the logo. I was like, "Huh, that's pretty cool." I mean, it keeps uh, the the pacing flowing very nicely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Like honestly, I have used an either who's that Pokemon or it's any kind of eye catcher would kind of feel out of place for this episode. So yeah, just imagine. <laughs> It, it, Just it, imagine it, Lily, Lily being like, "Hey, Mon, remember me? I'm your daughter." And then you're, and then Mon's like, "What? I don't remember you." And then I don't remember you. And then it just goes straight to, "Who's that Pokemon?" Yeah, it would be kind of a. It, it would feel very bizarre. Yeah. <sighs> what did Dub do that? Oh my god! God, please I no. Mean, I mean, none of us really no. watch the Dub anyway, so. No, no, I don't like, watch. I haven't, watched, I haven't watched the dub since Best Wishes, to be honest. Not a bad actor. I watched a few Journeys dub episodes. It's, it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's just, the Journeys dub is actually pretty okay. Like, I'll take I'll take the Journeys dub over the Sun and Moon dub, honestly. I mean, I think anything is better than Sun and Moon's dub. I feel like well, uh, I feel like the Sun and Moon dub was better than X and Y's dub, and I watched the entire of X Y in dub. Yeah, back, I don't back. know if I agree with that, to be honest. Yeah, I just... I, don't know, I, just, I think I, both were kind of shit, to be honest. Yeah, but both were kind of eh, but I feel like Sun and Moon kind of edges out XY's dub, in my personal opinion. Like, I was not impressed I, with it. I, I was not impressed fair. with XY's dub. I feel the complete opposite, to be honest. I mean, that's fair, though. At, at the end of the day, both dubs were kind of shit, so... Fair. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've seen a few clips of the FBI job, uh, and I just cannot remember them, so like, I cannot say what, uh, what, the, what the FBI job is like. But the, um, the sort of main job is, almost, is, like, is like, really memorable just because, of, just because of how shit it is, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we all have been overblowing Lily's voice. Yeah, voice. we're not really overblowing it. That's the thing. Like I watched it and it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like we don't we don't talk about Lily's dub voice. Yeah, we it do sucks now. too. And bad. she will and she will be returning for this episode. So yeah. yay! All the more reasons to watch sub. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. All the more reasons to watch it always subbed. Like, I mean, no disrespect to Lily's voice actress, but like, it's just the way. Me neither. Like, the way that. I mean, she's See, I trying. Think... See, I Here's think... the thing. I she's think... trying oh, her. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, honey. <laughs> you go it's ahead. Okay. <laughs> it, it's obvious that she's trying her best. Yeah, of Believe course. Believe it or not, I have. 
I have actually heard other projects that, believe it or not, she's actually good at. I don't remember what the show is called. But she sounds much better there. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. I believe yeah, it. I believe I I just don't it's, think it's her voice just, suits it's just, Lily. It's yeah, it's it's just the direction. It's it's the way that it's being directed towards her. Yeah, voice. exactly. But yeah. I just cannot tolerate it. And that one hundred percent it's not the fault of the voice actor. She's trying her best. And I respect that. But Same. Yeah, exactly. that that doesn't mean that the way that it's being directed is not something that I wouldn't wouldn't just agree over yeah See, no, I think I, I, yeah i do think it was definitely definitely the direction because because just yeah. because like yeah i the, like, i don't know if i have seen her and i don't know if i have seen her but i do know that um i i don't know if i have seen her but i do know that um i am really but like there's i feel like to get on Pokemon, she has prop. She has. She has like. She has, she has to be talented. Like, so like, I just sort of. Yeah. So like, as just a thing for like, I know she's. I know she's good at. Uh, she she's a good at voice actor, but she, but she has to be. Like, dear God, she would direct it off. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think the rest of the voice actors on Sun and Moon are fine. Like I like Kukui's dub voice and Gladian's and Kiawe's voice too. Oh same. Like I love yeah. their dub voices. Yeah, but it's really like Lily's voice actress that just doesn't to fit. I might have to be that like guy say I really did not care for Malos and Lana's voice either. I personally I actually don't I actually don't remember them. I if I'm gonna be honest. I personally don't mind Mallow's dub voice, actually. Lana's is, yeah. uh, Lana's is okay to me, but... But at least I'll take Lana's dub voice over Lily's. I mean, anything's gonna be better than Lily's dub voice, let's be honest. Yeah. Perfectly fair. Perfectly fair. But like, I, did, I, I did some digging on uh, just now, and... Turns out, Lily's dumb VA also did the voices for Lana's popular Brianna and Pre-Marina. Oh, nice. interesting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, um, it's really not much of a surprise to be honest, considering like most dub voice actors or, or actresses, like they voice Pokemon too, right? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Sarah, that 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 voice actor. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh. her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, she voiced Ambi Pop. She doesn't voice just Ash. She also voiced. Oh yeah. And Ambi Pop and Star Raptor. Yep. You know. Yep. Also, I am not a fan of the voice direction for her either right now. Considering, I don't know. Yeah, she, she just makes Ash has... sound so girly now. Yeah. She just she, she seems more high pitched than, than she used to be. Like, yeah. I, like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, like, I don't know if that's, like, a symptom of, of her, just, uh, of her voice just naturally changing as she got older because she, because she was, like, like, 17, 18 when she started Ash. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the thing is, or uh, the direction think, just changed a lot. I do think the voice direction has changed because, like, even now when you notice characters from from like the past ten years or so, like, like even Emily for Dawn when she returned in Journeys, you can notice her voice sounding much more high pitched now compared to when she voiced Dawn ten years ago. I haven't. I haven't seen. Um, I have heard. I mean, I hear uh, the difference. Voice, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you can I, definitely hear the difference. Even yeah. even Iris sounds much higher pitched than yep. than when they voiced her ten years yep. ago. And she sound and she sounded super mega high pitched in in Best Wishes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I I, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, so if you like, if you would like look it up on YouTube, you can 
definitely noticed that they're higher pitched. But interestingly enough, Geary's dub voice actor sounds the exact same. Yeah, I've ever seen a clip of Geary's dub voice in Journeys. I'm like, huh, this sounds basically the same. Yeah. So, like, I'm hoping that when Paul returns, like, Julian will sound the exact same, too. <laughs> imagine, yeah. imagine Paul returning and then his voice just sounding super high-pitched. That would be oh, kind of awkward. <laughs> that would be kind of awkward. That would, that would not work. That would not work. Oh, my God, guys. What? Paul, Paul with a high-pitched girly voice. Please I no. See, I cannot you're, see it anymore. You're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Just please no. Yeah. yeah. Julian voicing Paul is like bread on it's like butter on bread. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I still do think he he was probably one of the best. TPCI dub voice actors. Oh, absolutely. I agree with yeah, that. It's like literally perfect. It fits false character to a just a oh, chef's kiss. Yes. And also yeah. Barry's dub voice actor. I just love him. Oh, yeah. Barry's voice actor is amazing as well. He, he gives, he just portrays Barry's personality so well. And I like, oh, yeah, I like him. I like him more. I like how. He voices very much more than the Japanese voice actor, although I don't, I give respect to him as well. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna have to. I, I actually have yet to see the Ash vs. Iris battle in the dub, actually, because I have not seen the clip of Iris' dub voice in JN. Oops. I've seen clips, I just haven't seen the entire episode in dub. I have also seen clips of it. I mean, she sounds fine. I'm mean, concerned that it's been years since we've heard Iris' dub voice. Yeah, I, ju- I think I much prefer it in Best Wishes, to be honest. I, not, that I, she's, not that she does a bad job in Journeys. Absolutely yeah. not. I think it's interesting. It's, it's just that... It's ju- uh, I've... It's just that, uh, in comparison, Yuki just does a much better job than, uh, what was her name again? Was it Eileen Sheens? I think it, I think it is Eileen. Yeah, yeah. it's Eileen. Last name I forgot, though. I'll just go to the this up. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Yeah, it's, uh, Eileen Stevens. Yep, Eileen Stevens. You, yes, Eileen Stevens. I mean, she does a great job. It's just yeah. I th- I actually just think her hard. voice for I think I actually think her voice for Iris in Best Wishes was iconic. To be honest, yeah. Like yeah. she she yeah, definitely it's... she she's definitely matched Iris's voice so well. She she does capture some of like Iris's early. Um, like naive nature, or like a kid being a kid. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, it's I find it kind of I find it so fascinating that whenever I look up VAs for for any TV show and just seeing just how many roles they actually have is just like, oh my god, they voice all of these characters. That's insane. Like, oh, it, it, yeah. it always amazes me every single time without fail. I think the most yeah. I think the most amazing roles for me was Ash and May because Veronica Taylor played both of them. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. And I think actually I actually like Veronica Taylor as me much more than Ash to be honest. I don't know why. That's yeah, I have to agree on that. I I think there is a huge difference between early Veronica. I mean, it's kind of like the same thing with what? Sarah. Yeah. Where, where it's like early Veronica just. I hate to say this. I like Veronica Taylor, but to some degree, I'm kind of iffy about like her early, 
early voice yeah. it just sounds it just sounds way too much like yeah i think she sounded the, much the best more better description i gave is like a cigar smoking parrot <laughs> what the I, would, fuck? I, would what give the fuck? I would give that description to sarah when she first started voicing ash because <laughs> yeah. she was oh, yeah. definitely Do she not. was definitely rough with ash's oh, voice yeah 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 when That's she first horrible. started yeah there was definitely a lot of growing pains with a lot of points in the show when it comes to the yeah dog. i think i yeah. think veronica got much better like as os progressed and i think she definitely yeah. nailed it when when ag started oh yeah i think she sounds much better in ag compared to like os where she just has this oh man catch him i'm 10 yeah. years old Compared to like an AG where he's like, I mash catch him. <laughs> that's probably the worst. That's probably uh, the worst impression I've ever got. But you get the idea anyway. <laughs> Maximum cringe at its finest. Also, I, <laughs> also I, but, I just found this out recently. But I just found out that Sarah also voices Don's mom. And I never knew that. Wait, uh, no, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, yeah she, she, voices, she voices Johanna. She voices... Johanna, and I'm like, whoa. Sarah Nato, I forgot her name again. Nato Chenny. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there we go. Let's see. Johanna. Yeah, for, kind of goes back to my point of just of how surprising it is to see just how many roles some of these VAs have. I think I was really surprised because, like, her voice sounded so different compared to. To like all the other voices she did but it just shows how talented a lot of these people are too i mean yeah that's why they're in the business exactly yeah well the more yeah, you know i guess yeah the yeah like, like yeah like like presumably that's why uh uh uh, uh presumably that's why uh uh sarah got got cast at like uh 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 Ah, uh, so she's young age, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Too I bad think... she's not someone I support anymore, really. We don't talk about it. Yeah. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just had to... We don't talk about it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always separate what she does. From we don't talk about it. <laughs> I don't blame you. Ash voices himself. Am I right, guys? <laughs> 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 wow! Why are we Open throwing shade series. all of a sudden? <laughs> throwing well, ash this one, ketchup, well, this one happened. Ketchup. Well, this one happened, and she didn't, you know. But yeah, yeah, we all know the context. Like I said before, always separate what she does as voices versus what the amount of bullshit she does. Yeah, and we all talk about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, Why do we care to dub voice actors? I don't know. Um, we were we were talking about Lily's dub. dub oh voice. right! How did it even? Yeah. How did we even get to Lily's dub voice in the first place? Though I don't remember. Because Lily was into the episode, and yeah. and 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 you were like, "Oh, I can't wait to see a uh, uh, dub Douglas." Oh yeah. Oh, how could I forget that already? I'm stupid. No, no, you're not. not. <laughs> you're 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 special though. But we all you're are. special though. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I don't know why, I don't know why but that was so funny. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> take that as a compliment, Kai. You're not stupid, you're just special. Just like we are are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Well, um, I can't think of anything else that, that I want to talk about. Is there anything else that you guys want to discuss before we wrap things up? Wow, the episode's ending already, huh? I mean, there's yeah, nothing else yeah. I have written down on our notes for this week. Okay, fair then. Because, like, I said that, I said I had a feeling that, like, a good portion of this episode was just going to be gushing about Jan, and, well, it kind of happened. Yeah. Yeah. We can't, like, bounce on all over the place, really. Going from Jan to lack of AG stuff and Gower stuff to talk about the dub, and then back to Jan. It's like, oh my god. Some consistency we have, right? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh boy. And plus, we've been going for like almost an hour and a half now. I mean, we usually go till two hours, I think. Yeah, yeah. but like there was, there was like not a lot of other things that I could think of for this week. It was mostly just for today's Jan episode because I just wanted to gush about that so badly. Yeah, same here. I agree. And like, I gave a lot of all my remaining thoughts about uh, the Pokemon Home update last week. So I didn't feel like I needed to reiterate this week. Oh yeah, I wasn't yeah. there for that one. Yeah. I mean, I haven't even booted up Sword and Shield to do the Shiny Shoulder raids yet, so I should probably do that soon. <laughs> I mean, I haven't bo booted up Sword and Shield since, since forever like... now. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Uh, bro, I just, I, I, yeah. bro, I just rebooted it like five minutes ago. Come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, I think the last time I put any kind of effort into Sword and Shield was when the Shiny Tyrantrum raid event was happening. Don't even remember that. That was like two months ago? I think oh, it's been wow. probably way longer since I booted up. I mean, I'm kind of yeah. surprised. I'm kind of surprised that they're still doing these Shiny Raid events. Even though we've had two other games come out lately. Yeah, same. Was well, another one on the way later this year. But then again, none of yeah, them have... Yeah, about that. But then, then again, neither of them have the level of, uh, multiplayer, level of multiplayer stuff that Sword and Shield has. Yeah, exactly. So With Raids and Dynamax Adventures and whatnot. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I have to agree on that. <laughs> I mean, I do hope that we get quite a bit more, or just as much multiplayer stuff for Scarlet and Violet that we got in Sword and Shield, because all the all that stuff surrounding multiplayer was really fun. Because, I think yeah. Dynamax Adventures was probably the most fun aspect. Oh yeah, even if it took forever to get through, though. I much prefer that over, like, regular Dynamax battles, though. Yeah, that's understandable. Because a lot of these, a lot of raids can be kind of a cakewalk or be really frustrating. They're, it's not, they're, I just think they're, I just, I think they're fine. It's really when you get to the five star raids that they really just start to get annoying. Yeah. And and also pretty boring. Yeah, some of them can kind of stale, especially since a lot of people just bring the same Pokemon every single time. And let's not forget about Martin and his infamous Soul Rock. Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> don't freaking oh remind God. me about that, Jesus. That was just we, torture. We love Martin. Oh, we no absolutely ever... do not. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Um, he might he might just be the most useless NPC I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Wait, who are we talking about here? Martin. Martin. Um, I forgot who that is. Cyrus I mean, the item drops are pretty good, though, so I guess there's that. Okay, but is Martin as useful as that Dorito haircut guy? Wait, who? Are we My talking about Swordward and Shieldbert? Oh! No. I'm that small guy from X and Y. Whatever. Oh. I think oh. that's him. Derp. Yeah, we, we, yeah, one of us did make that joke. That was me. Yep, I remember. <laughs> of course, of course it was him. <laughs> yep, I remember now. He simply raised his hand. Yep, I remember now. Um, well, aside from that, is there anything else that you guys want to add before we close? Uh, Stan Fennekin. Yep. Stan oh, oh, Fennekin. <laughs> <Stan Fennekin. laughs> of course. We, of course. we stand all of them. Yes. And Stan Kukui. And Anne and Stand Nessa. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I did not mean to say that. Wait, what? Yes, I you missed it. Wait, what? I missed it. You missed it? Because <laughs> there was oh a lot God. of people talking at the same time. Uh... Oh, I cannot wait to hear that when I go to edit this tomorrow. Oh boy. 
Or I can just go back and want, listen to the recording after we finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, we got aside from that. Uh, I think that is going to wrap things up for this week. Well, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, through it all, we're still a family. One shade of family. <laughs>